Hello, this is Darrell Castle. I'm an attorney licensed to practice law in the state of Tennessee, and on this video I'm talking about payday loans, payday loans as they exist here in Tennessee. A payday loan is really just a small loan that you are obligated to repay on your next payday. The way it usually works is something like this. You go down to a payday loan center and you borrow, say, anywhere between $150 and $1,000 based on what your next payday is. And usually you give the loan company a uh, post dated check uh, dated for your next payday. And if you don't come in and pick up that check and make the payment on the loan in full plus interest or whatever your arrangements are, then the loan company can deposit the check and you've got a bad check and bad check charges at your bank and things like that. Now the other way it can work is you have a connection to your bank and the loan company. The loan company sends information to your bank, you sign off on it and the bank, uh, your check is direct deposited into the bank and then the loan company simply deducts it from your checking account just like any other bill that you would have self paid like that. I hope you never do that by the way but that's what a payday loan is so you pay back the balance of the loan plus interest and uh, other charges at your next payday. A payday loan is, is okay I suppose in some instances if you had a, uh, a serious problem that came up, a one time type of thing, uh, maybe one of your children got in trouble and five hundred dollars would, would solve the problem for you, that's a one time occurrence and with keeping in mind that your next payday is going to be five hundred dollars light then with that understanding, perhaps it's something that, that would help you, but in general it's an indication that you're going down a wrong road financially. It's an indication that you've got something fundamentally wrong in your finances and uh, if you go to a payday loan store and get like $300, just remember that on your next payday you're going to be $300 less likely to be able to make ends meet than you are now, so I would advise you to look for a permanent solution to find something that is a permanent solution to your financial troubles because what usually happens is uh, you can't make the payment when your payday comes and so you go to a different payday loan company to get money to make the payment to the other one and then the next time you have the same problem so that's kind of like a death spiral financially and uh, rather than going through that whole thing you might want to consider some form of bankruptcy like chapter 7 or chapter 13 either one of those can solve your payday loan problems and solve them permanently if that's what you choose to do. So uh, once again, good luck out there folks and uh, try to avoid that if you can.